Welcome back to Equipped Endure. I'm Rusty. We are continuing our ultimate home security series and today what we're working on are fortifying our door hinges as well as hinge shields from Armor Concepts. So we're going to go ahead and get installing and talk you through as we go. But before we do that, we've gotten so many comments on the windows beside the doors. Yes, we have accounted for this. That's going to be a future video. We're fortifying the entire front of the home, the entry points and doors. We have accounted for it. So relax, we'll get there. Okay, so typically a door hinge is going to come with a wimpy little screw, something like this. Now these are special spring-loaded hinges that I ordered and these are the screws that came with it. Those are about three quarter inch, maybe number eight screws. Now in this door of my old hinges, I already had a little bit beefier. These are number 10 screws and about an inch long. Now these are already pretty beefy, but what I'm replacing them with is three and a half inch number 10 screws. Now look at the difference there. This is so much more firmly anchored into both the door and the jam. I feel much more comfortable that this is gonna hold up. You ain't kicking through that, friend. So what we're gonna do is put the actual hinge shield on. Now this is how it works. Now remember with the jam shield, basically what it does is it extends the strength of it by locking into more of the, the actual jam. So we've got two three and a quarter inch screws that are anchoring the hinge into the jam right now. The hinge shield covers that. We're gonna put two more of those screws and then two more through here that are also going through the actual hinge. Now the problem that I have is these special hinges that I have, the middle two holes are offset, which creates a little bit of a wonky issue with this. So what we're going to do is pop over the Dremel and we're gonna extend this channel down a touch so that we can get those two screws in through the actual hinge shield and into the jam. So I just took the Dremel and I moved that hole over just enough for me to be able to fit it in there. So you can see the alignment right there. These black screws are the ones that typically come with a hinge when you buy it. About a three quarter inch screw, pretty lightweight to hold a big heavy door in force. My old hinges had about a one inch screw, number 10 screw there, but we're replacing it with are these tempered steel three and a quarter inch um, GRK construction screws. These screws are going through the hinge shield, through the hinge and into the jam, and then there's gonna be four of those, two of them going through the hinge. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing installed. All right, so I mentioned from the get-go that I put in spring-loaded hinges. Now, the reason I did that is because I want to automate all this stuff, the lock, and we're going to have another little treat for you that you're going to see. But I need to make sure that the door closes. And the problem with the front door, if you have kids, you know that sometimes that door gets left open. Now, the spring-loaded hinge makes sure that that door shuts so that you always know that that door shuts and then the automatic locks can kick in. So the way that it works, you put the Allen key in the top, you twist that, that puts tension on it, and you can see these holes down inside here, this little R2-D2 unit. And what you do is you put that little guy in there and that prevents it from um, losing that tension that you just uh, put on it. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pull it out, take this pin and put them right here. Same thing, and we're just gonna work our way until we have the desired tension. Now I think with these, particular hinges. They say that you can only go like four spots. I think that was three. So let's try the fourth. Let's see if we can go any more than that. I'm not sure. Okay. I think I can do it. Awesome. So this pin goes in that hole and you leave it there. You leave it there and that's what keeps 
that tension on. All right, so one of your young ones left the door open, they walk away from it, and that's what the hinges do. So just by way of reminder, what we did today was we replaced the middle and bottom hinge with a spring-loaded hinge so that when the door opens and it's left open, it automatically closes so that your other automatic features can take effect. We've also put in the hinge version of the jam shield that we put in on the last episode. So the hinge shield goes through the hinge and with two other screws into the jam to fortify the actual door jam. So super strong here, super strong over here. We've got the strong deadbolt now. On the next episode, we are going to account for the windows. I know that that seemed to really bother some of you and it makes sense, we had to think through it too, but we are accounting for the windows on the next one. But until next time, in Omnia Paratus.